Okay, dah start lah. Okay, okay saya start lah. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang semua. Uh, jadi, uh, in, in, today's, uh, in today's video, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about evolution of power planning. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, part of my book which you can acquire the classroom or you can uh, get it from amazon.com uh, on the book lah itself okay so the uh, power planning beginning of power planning uh, uh, it is uh, starting with initial simple algorithm for static environment and the rise and uh, and the rise of uh, complexity demand for dynamic decision making due to complex task and environment they are key algorithm such as uh, a, a star Big extra, uh, rapidly exploding random tree, and uh, advancing and for advanced navigation, and AI and machine learning integration shift towards adaptive algorithm for enhanced autonomy and multi-objective optimization. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, why going? Uh, this slide means that uh, we can we can uh, we we know that everything start with simple okay so uh, simple and static environment what is a static environment like you yourself you can uh, see uh, your environment beside beside you uh, in your table on your bedroom on your everything that is static not moving so how about we create an, a simple algorithm for for that situation like like your phone and like your phone in that in like your smartphone like your handphone that you place on your table okay you can also make a simple algorithm for that static environment okay so how about when they are moving okay how about they are moving like moving left to moving right moving front right and uh, and everything okay then the complexity will become a, a bit more and then how about in moving towards an obstacle how can it avoid an obstacle everything so that means that it become more complicated more and complicated how about we are controlling multiple robots like drones we are controlling multiple drones at one time how can we control them okay how can we make the the path uh, run smoothly avoid collision in an economic economical manner and everything this is what uh, the people are going to do okay now with advancement of ai and machine learning integration they are switched towards adaptive algorithm for enhanced autonomy and they are also multi adjective optimization meaning that consideration of multiple factors like safety energy efficiency beyond uh, shortest route shortest path like like uh, we ourselves when we going back uh, this uh, last last week remember when we going back home to our kampung hari raya we we uses waste okay we uses google map google map uh, we always go for the shortcut right this is the algorithm lah this is uh, among the algorithm what is the shortcut what is the uh, shorter path that required uh, to make most economical path and required it is among the objective lah kan okay so bio bio inspired path planning evolutionary algorithm and swarm intelligence so throughout the years people have uh, tried our best to mimic uh, to make it shortest path make it more economical for uh, path planning and everything lah okay so we uh, scientists we ourselves we try to mimic nature okay we try to mimic nature okay like as a basis of genetic algorithm particle swarm optimization and ion colony optimization okay uh, genetic algorithm it is called bio inspired what is a genetic algorithm it in, in a simple way it it, uh, it replicate what is the best uh, the best uh, option for the nature to to uh, evolution you know about darwin theory okay you have you ever heard about darwin theory the charles darwin okay uh, there, there are a lot of controversy about charles darwin 
Okay, uh, we are not talking about that controversy. We are talking about uh, how uh, Darwin, Charles Darwin, in the process of uh, creating uh, the selection of uh, nature, uh, he 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 suggests he theorized that um, everything will go for the best. Okay, uh, survival of the fittest. Okay, let's say. Uh, uh, we want to go into competition. We want to get number one. Okay. Uh, in order to get number one, we uh, uh, in uh, in 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 not a good manner. We uh, we try to we try to eliminate our our enemies. And this is uh, how uh, basically how genetic algorithm work lah. It, it is likely like uh, resembles like survival of the fittest. Okay, uh, you can search about genetic algorithm. It is more or less like uh, like I'm I'm trying to explain to you in the most simple manner uh, like that. Okay, how about particle swarm optimization? Okay, uh, it is resemble how bees work. How lebah, huh? Again, it flies from the hive it goes uh, to finding the the honey into the field okay when when one bee find that honey it will send signal to all other bees to stop working and go go to him okay so that they can uh, they can collect the man, the honey right they can collect the honey in um it, uh, everyone stop their job and come to me and we collect the honey together, like like that lah. And end colony optimization it is obviously is about ends. Uh, you know when uh, uh, you can see when you uh, place the sugar, okay, one end come, one can come. This is a scout scout end. They uh, he he find that end. He find that sugar over there. He go back and tell the other friend. Okay, here is the sugar. So they come back together and they they carry the sugar back uh, to their place. This is called N colony optimization. Okay, meaning that they are finding the 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 best path, uh, the best path. Okay, so this uh, this uh, path planning algorithm and everything will be applied into many many application. Uh, like for example, the the dual wedding path planning and synergies in 3D path planning. Okay, so you can see here the AI driven innovation in path planning, reinforced learning, and evolutionary uh, algorithm. Okay, so reinforced learning robot learn optimal path to try and error, adjusting to dynamic environment, evolutionary algorithm. Okay. Uh, it draw inspired from natural selection, uh, such as revolutionizing approach to a complex pump algorithm. Okay, this algorithm fine tune solution throughout mechanism like mutation and crossover, the addressing both long strategy and immediate response to obstacles. Okay, uh, so it's quite more or less like the natural selection of the of the material, lah. Kan? Okay, uh, like like explain to you in, in that Darwin Trolley theory lah. Okay, so computational breakthrough in path planning. Okay, what does it means by breakthrough? Okay, we can uh, we can observe uh, during our study years, during our uh, you can observe ten ten years back, fifteen years back when we are. Uh, where the computer technology is not like this this today technology okay uh, i do not know about your generation but when i'm uh, when i 20 years back the computer the headset and everything is is not that fast it's not that far fast there are no uh, there are no facebook there are no tiktok and everything during that during my time nowadays you can see everything is fast because the computer is faster and they can process all the algorithm faster okay uh, so this is is a breakthrough in path planning that meaning that the 
it will become the real time data processing it will become the uh, it, it can predict better in unknown terrains okay increase solution diversity and global ultimate conversion in algorithm like indoor robot welding everything approach in three path path planning algorithm genetic algorithm for adaptive navigation and everything okay so uh, we know that our vehicle our robot our dra drone and everything they will travel into terrains that they are not familiar like uh, now you can imagine the robot uh, moving in in the factory within the factory environment okay how about the robot in outside in outdoors okay how can they move again because they do not know the terrain okay the lubang okay the holes again the the river and everything how how can they adapt it? this is uh this is we need a good computational power lah. Uh, okay So, com uh, apa ni, uh, robotic path planning advancement for complex decision ma making. It it needs uh, to adapt to range of application, uh, including autonomous vehicles and industrial automation. Okay. Such as dual robot uh, plan welding, uh, ni robot welding and everything. Okay. Okay. this is not that technical okay you can read it okay critical role of path planning in modern industry okay uh, so foundation of robot and automation essential for FCC, FFT and reliability broad applicable uh, from manufacturing to logistic healthcare and space exploration investments in algorithm like generalized Baroni diagrams rapidly uh, exploring random tree and gradient descent algorithm okay uh, I can explain about uh, random tree ni. Okay, random tree is what is like this. Okay, uh, this random tree rapidly exploring random tree, meaning that uh, it it is what all that I am going to explain now is about all about path planning. But it is in the way how this algorithm work is might uh, slightly dif uh, differ slightly different from all other uh, all other path planning method okay like just now i said to you about genetic algorithm where it will do the natural selection it will it will choose the best okay meaning that um, in path planning punya path planning uh, environment it will choose the best path okay it will eliminate all the other other path okay how about rapidly exploring random tree okay it also want to find the path okay it also want to plan the path but how it work that you, you can imagine a tree okay imagine a tree a pokok okay it, imagine the uh, the branches grow the branches grow 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 okay uh, uh, imagine that branches grow automatically okay inside uh, all the the pathway okay imagine a map lah. Okay, imagine a map, Google map, everything, uh, Google map, ways, okay, there are many, many roads. You want to go back to your kampung, you want to go back to your village for Hari Raya, there are many, many options you can go back using the highway, using the the, the jalan kampung, the village road, uh, the the small, small road, the river, uh, everything, again. Okay what uh rapidly exploring random tree does it it can imagine uh, it it creates a, a tree you can imagine it creates a tree the tree will go all over the places and finding the the best option for you okay the best option for you okay and then it will suggest what is the best route okay what is the best it is like uh, actually is uh, what all I'm discussing here is uh, uh, it, the intention is to 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 do the path planning. It is the the difference is that uh, how they use the the method uh, to find the path planning is slightly different. Okay, but the objective are the same. Okay, importance of path planning in healthcare and space exploration. Okay 
how about healthcare? The healthcare, you can imagine yourself, myself, uh, we have the, we have our heart, we have the, uh, all the capillary, all the veins in our body and everything. Okay. How do we instruct the robot, okay, to go ins inside our body uh, to, to place all the equipment? Like, uh, like people who, okay, God forbid, okay, uh, when we get heart attack, okay, our, our heart become blocked, okay. How, uh, how is the fastest and the safest way uh, for the needle, for the for the equipment, medical equipment to come into your heart to break the block? Kan? Uh, this is the uh, path learning also. Kan? They can, the, the equipment can come in many, many ways. But what is the best way and the best situation for you? Kan? Uh, let's say you are a healthy person. Okay, the 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 robot, the equipment will come this way. Let's say you are not healthy person, or the cholesterol and everything. The the robot will come into different way. Right? This is called important of healthcare. And, uh, and about space exploration, you can imagine the space here is also applicable to the outer space. Okay, outer space to the moon, uh, to the to the rocket and everything, also space, but uh, space here also means that all our factory, lah, our, our, our layout or the our building, our house is also space, okay? And, okay, and then they also path planning for autonomous underwater exploration, okay? So the, the underwater drone, right? So we have seen uh the flying drone how about the drone in in inside inside the water underwater drone okay so uh they are talk about uh bio inspired algorithm meaning that we making aquatic life the drone the drone itself is they make it as a fish they make it as a snake okay so that uh when the robot fish coming into the uh, into the river the fish are, are not surprised they think that uh, that that robot is their friend right so they are not surprised lah right so then we can blend the robot can blend into the environment and then the robot can can see what the fish do right the fish are not surprised and the robot are not surprised and then everyone is happy right and then fundamentals of uh, path planning in robotics. This is the fundamental you can see in my book. Uh, I, there is a chapter dedicated on the fundamental of path planning. Okay. So uh, the goal is the uh, uh, the goal is to achieve the shortest path, minimize the energy use, and reducing travel time. This is the fundamental we want to give get the shortest path, minimize the energy use, and uh, reducing travel time. Challenges are to adapt to dynamic env environment with shifting or new obstacles. Okay, real time adaptation, importance of algorithm, the algorithm that adjust in real time to ensure safe and efficient navigation. Okay, this is the things that uh, fundamentally we want to achieve. Okay, uh, so in navigating path planning, there are grid maps and biomimicry. Okay, grid map breaking down the environment into the manageable grid to assess. Okay, so uh, now we can imagine there are ways and there are Google Map. Okay, uh, these two these two application we uh, we always use when we travel. We use ways and we use Google Map. Okay, because uh, it is can access to the map uh, and actually it is a grid. Okay, you if you remember when you study. Uh, in your secondary school, you learn about geography and everything. There are grids of the map, okay? There are grids of the map and everything. And then uh, how uh, we we interpret the grid map, okay? We want to go to this location, this location and everything. Nowadays, where we have the Google map and also ways, uh, it is our job will become faster lah because uh, it already it already uh, been helped by 
the algorithm okay so they are uh, and colony optimization inspired by natural and behavior to find atom optimal path then b spline path smoothing tending to create smoother and natural routes throughout the grid okay what what this mean by smart smoothing ni okay uh, imagine there are graph okay uh, uh, imagine there are graph the graph goes up and down up and down up and down okay okay how to make it the graph smooth okay we use the uh, log uh, logarithmic uh, the one one over something like that to make it the graph smooth and then it is uh, easily presentable to people lah, kan? so uh, because uh, when you present to your superior the graph that uh, goes up and down and down uh, maybe your superior is not that technical person they don't understand okay you want to create a smoother uh, graph okay the straight line graph or the curved line graph okay to make it uh, more understandable okay the same goes for this fine path smoothing although it uh, although the path is already there we we this b plus b spline path smoothing tends to make it more smooth um, uh, meaning that it try to adjust uh, the pathways to make it slightly uh, slightly economical okay by, by biomimicry in algorithm like i said that we wants to uh, we wants to replicate back uh, nature like end colony optimization and efficiency and robustness achieving better path planning outcome by mimicking natural system okay and then expanding horizon uh, internet of drones and area path planning so nowadays we can see that drones are everywhere okay we can see that drones are everywhere you can see here you can see here there when you go to the wedding people are using drone when we go to the function function people are using drone and okay how about drone communicate with each other can it can be done okay it can be done so that it can avoid collision collision about about the uh, drone okay designated airway concept similar to norway but for drones to ensuring agonized traffic flow so that we don't want the drone to collide each, each other okay also the same goes to the airplanes uh, airplane on the uh, in the air it also have the pathway okay also have the pathway to, to avoid collision okay so the same goes for the airplane lah. okay advanced q learning for a dynamic uh, environment challenges uh, what is q learning actually okay the q learning is uh is like we uh q learning algorithm uh it is related to uh, uh reinforced learning okay uh this q learning is not mean that q though the q the traffic jam is it's not that that q okay it is the term used for reinforced learning okay so to make that the machine uh, uh learn by trial and error okay uh, uh there are not a good uh example that we can i can give to you about your house household okay uh because uh, everything that we can see in our household is is not uh, we don't have to use the in reinforced learning lah but you can you can imagine if you have a robotic arm okay you have you you teach the robotic arm to move okay left right left right uh, up and down everything that robotic arm firstly they will act like a baby they don't know anything okay and then you learn you teach them they learn, learn from mistake and everything this is called q learning uh it's also related to reinforced learning uh eventually that uh that machine that robotic arm to be become smarter and smarter and smarter lah eh? okay this is the goal for enhanced q learning for uh, dynamic environment okay 
path planning, classification and techniques. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, there is a chapter in my book about classification and technique. You can read, uh, but uh, just for example, there are categories for algorithm, there are sampling based algorithm, key for high dimensional environment, uh, where traditional methods fail. Okay. Sampling based algorithm, there are example and technique, uh, rapidly uh, exploring and trees. Probability roadmap method, enhanced version PM, PRM, star and RRT, star, okay. Uh, and optimal planning challenges, okay. Uh, now, sampling based algorithm, we know that what is sampling. Uh, remember back when you are doing questionnaire, okay. Uh, when your lecturer asks you to do questionnaire and everything, you do the sampling, okay. Uh, because there are many, many samples, you learn uh, from other classes that we we just take random sample and then we do the sampling. If the sample okay, we accept, it's not, so, it's not okay, we reject the whole lot. And that is called re, re, uh, random sampling. Lah. Okay. And then node-based algorithm is also a part of classification of path planning. There are node-based algorithm in path planning. Uh, like a star and digit extra algorithm for optimal path discovery. Uh, challenges. Okay. Uh, challenges uh, in scalability, efficiency in uh, declines with increased great resolution, raising computational cost. What it means that, okay. Uh, this this number two challenges is scalability. Uh, remember when you are doing simulation, okay? Back when you study this, okay, you do your lecturer ask you to do analysis, okay? and then you do a, a simulation like the software like NCS, Katia, Finite Element, software and everything, okay? You want to save uh, the time, you want to make it faster, you go for the bigger grid. Of course, it, it will come faster. But how about the the uh, the accuracy of the of the your result? If you do the small small grid, it will raise the computational cost. Okay, maybe you have to buy uh, additional RAMs. Okay, maybe you have to buy the computer with more faster uh, uh, faster calculation time. Okay, this is called this is uh, raising. Uh, uh, computational cost lah. This is called node based lah. This node base is like that. Okay, Re uh, remember, uh, remember when you are doing finite element, okay, when back in your study days, it is, uh, it is divided by grids, okay. Each grid have nodes, okay. The smaller the nodes should be better, okay. But it will become more expensive to use. Okay, this is called node based algorithm lah, okay. So sampling based algorithm, like I just said before, uh, we want to random sampling. Uh, there are there are application of motion planning, the support range of planning from simple path to complex kinodynamic. What is kinodynamic? Okay, this is the term. Uh, uh, this this is the modern term that we have not uh, heard before during our, our study days. We heard about dynamic. We heard about static. But how about kin uh, kino? Okay, kino dynamic is a uh, is a uh, marriage between kinematic and dynamic. Ni, ni, uh, meaning that uh, it it focus on the robotic robotic arm punya movement robotic arm movement. Ni. This is called kino dynamic. Okay, okay. It is a new term right now. You have never heard before during your study days. Okay. Uh, uh, when we why I search for this uh, lecture note, I come from one uh, lecturer, uh, one researcher uh, use the, the term kinodynamic. It means that it means that the motion of the robot itself, okay, kinematic plus dynamic. They marriage together, they uh, they become kinodynamic, okay. And precision of path planning, mathematical based algorithm. Okay, who wants to do mathematical based, okay. There are some people that are clever in mathematics, okay. There are some people uh, uh, they are clever in mathematics. They don't want to rely on uh, simulation because everybody can do simulation, but it is difficult to do mathematics. Right? Okay. So some of uh, researchers who are who are powerful in mathematics, 
they they calculate all the path and planning and everything and they and they presented the the way it is good uh, also mathematics we know that uh, for average average person like like us like me and you we uh, we are uh, powerful of mathematics is not that powerful enough uh, compared to the expert so we uh, we tend to use the software lah, like what we have used before uh, okay we have discussed before uh, okay but the mathematics wise people who are more powerful in mathematics they can they can do do the calculation and everything lah. okay and nature based algorithm what we have discussed before uh, like genetic algorithm and colony optimization mimic biological and phenomena, natural phenomena they are also Neural network, simulated handling, gray wolf algorithm, and others. Okay, what did it mean by a gray wolf? Okay, you know about wolf. Okay, you seen the movies about wolf, uh, Disney movies about wolf. Everything uh, uh, the wolf will go into packs. Okay, there are wolf packs. Okay, there are group of wolf, group of wolf, group of wolf. They they don't communicate with each other. When they come into different territory, they will fight. Yeah, they will fight uh, among themselves. Okay, for the different territory. So this is uh, also called uh, uh, people want to mimic the the movement of wolf. Okay, when they are they are wolf pack. Okay, they move in packs. Okay, uh, how many wolf um, moving in one pack? Okay, we also want to simulate how many movement of of our goods or our product movement in one pack we want to make it to replicate as a gray wolf movement lah. okay so environmental representation and mapping okay so critical for effective path planning and algorithm selection the next employed ranging for basic 2d and 3d grids to sophisticated uh, probabilistic and elevation models okay so uh, there are hari uh, example of mapping technique uses uh, 3D probabilistic data for special discretization, elevation mapping uses, uses 2.5 D grid for high value and innovative approach, hierarchical uh, graph, H graph, reduce complexity and uh, improve efficiency. Nowadays, uh, nowadays, we have Google Map, okay? Basic Google Map can, can give you terrains, okay? You pay to the Google for some fees, it also can give you more accurate more detailed uh, terrain okay so we don't have problem about that okay because we have google now google can show you us about all the environment everything okay you can google google map uh, about google earth you, you also have google earth they can uh, you, you know we, we know what i mean lah, okay so mastering ter terrain uh upper classification and energy estimation in autonomous uh navigation okay important of terrain classification essential for informed navigation and decision for outdoor environment techniques techniques use uh, utilization of extra uh, receptive sensor and computer vision uh role of machine learning enhances classification of terrain sensor integration the users cameras and lidar okay uh what is lidar Okay, if you ever heard about LIDAR, LIDAR is the technology that is so expensive uh, but it is so benefit, so beneficial, okay. Uh, uh, that camera LIDAR will move by helicopter or by air, airplane, okay. They put the camera inside an airplane or inside a helicopter and then the airplane move uh, throughout uh, the sensors, throughout all the terrains and everything, they can they can know what is the inside of the building okay uh, for example they have used this lidar method also in malaysia in our kedah uh, apa nama tambadun dekat kuala kuala kedah uh, bukan kuala kedah apa tambadun tambadun sungai batu tu in 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 malaysia in sungai batu in gurun tu kan gurun jerai everything they have the our previous uh, tambadun lah uh, 500 years before we have the uh, civilization uh, in Malaysia. They use the camera leader to penetrate in the ground. They can know what is the what is the uh, terrain before. Okay, the same goes. They use the leader to observe the pyramid. 
the in 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 Egypt. Okay, they want to know where is the location of the of the pyramid that is uh, inside the ground. We cannot see in our eye, but the camera reader reader can can scan and can know where is the exact location of the of the of the new pyramid and everything so that uh, people can decide okay they can pinpoint the accurately where is the location of the of the place they want to dig okay? they want to dig to find the new pyramid new grave in the in the egypt okay and that is called lidar it's so expensive but it's so beneficial uh, okay it's so expensive but it's so beneficial uh, it saves a lot of time okay if we can have leader technology lah. okay and last slide is about learning based approach okay uh shift to, shift to learning based method incorporation of neural network and machine learning for path planning learning for environment reduce reliance on major features using data deeper insight uh, graph neural network uh, effective for collision avoidance uh, and optimize learning algorithm okay and hybrid model everything okay that's all for the slide uh today uh tonight do you have question do you have question people uh, uh i think there are uh, uh two two students uh, from computer do you learn about this in your in your study days not really doctor but robotics got robotic got a huh? uh, robotic got in in your study uh, days ah uh, in your first one first year to year second year, ha, year yeah. uh, but more on programming doctor macam dia uh, program to robotics c++ c sharp macam tu uh, okay okay And, uh, because uh, we in manufacturing uh, we don't learn uh, uh, about this again but that uh, i wonder uh, maybe student in computer you learn about this in your study days ah uh, in your undergraduate now ah uh? yes doctor yes uh, okay That, then it is a new knowledge for us ah, for myself and for you also is also a new knowledge at least my aim is that you have some knowledge about about this thing like when people are talking to you about reinforced learning or you know what is reinforced learning uh you, people talking about random tree you know what is the random tree recent algorithm uh baronoi diagram at least you get some idea lah not that you ngangau lah Okay, not that you when people talk to you ngangau saja, kan? Okay, uh, at least you know lah, no? Okay, I think that's all. So the next weeks we will talking about different types of algorithms, methods, analysis used in in path planning lah. Uh, this is quite an interesting subject because I will compare. Insyaallah I will compare many types of uh, models, many types of environments and everything. Uh, so so that you can use. Uh, when uh, when we come into this kind of situation, this is the model. Model A is suitable. Model B is not so suitable. Model C is also not suitable. But all can uh, all can solve the problem. But the fastest one is model A, like, like just like that. Uh, that's what we are going to discuss to you next week. Okay. So I think that's all for now. I I wish you selamat hari raya. Maha Zahibatin lah uh, for, for everyone. Okay. Itu saja. That's all for me. Uh, okay. Itu saja lah. Terima kasih banyak lah pada semua. Okay. Kita akan. Ada soalan ya? Do you have question? Tak ada? Okay. Tak ada soalan. Saya ucap terima kasih banyak. I, uh, I wish you the best. InsyaAllah we'll meet you again with next week. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Thank you.